Ah, not bad at white magic. Okay, so you're good with red, green, and white. Good with everything but blue and black, apparently. Yeah. After din- I like this music. <laughs> you can't hear I it, though. Yeah. You'll hear it if you watch the video. After dinner, I'm walking back to my room when I notice the door is already open. I peek through the gap to see who is inside. It's Ellen. She's folding up some clothing, probably putting her laundry away. Yeah, see, there's like a horse on the belt. It's like this is the tail and that's the head. It's an ugly horse. Yeah. They're like, we used up all of our budget in making the school flame retardant. <laughs> uh, it's not acid retardant. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's Virginia's dresser she's opening. Why is Ellen rummaging around in our roommate's stuff? I still want to know where my bed is. I haven't made a sound. She doesn't know I'm here yet. I'm gonna ask what she's doing. Yeah. If you want to know something, why not just ask? What are you doing? Eek! <laughs> yes! Sorry, I didn't see you there. Just tidying up a little. In Virginia's underpants. Yes, but isn't that Virginia's stuff? Was her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he did say she stole all the books. <laughs> She's a thief. They were like, that's her personality for her. She's like a kleptomaniac. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are you tidying up her things? I just told you. <laughs> because she doesn't do it herself. Uh, okay. Yes, that's it. <laughs> you're just pretending to be a neat freak when you're secretly looking for things to take. She's making you be your maid? And don't tell her. <laughs> At this point, Virginia returns to our shared room. Hey, guys, what's up? Why are you making poor Ellen into your slave? Huh? She's not. Yeah, I'm jumping I like to you, subby. <laughs> I'm jumping to conclusions here, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Just what is going on here? I shake my head. Um, I think I'm obviously confused about something. She saw me putting your stuff away. At least I admitted it. Ah, it was you that's been doing that. I'm sorry. I just love looking at your underwear. <laughs> I mean, messy rooms. I hate messy rooms. <laughs> You're like, don't hit me. Or why, if you want to. Why do you to. have boxers and briefs, though? I don't understand. <laughs> totally. It's not... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, it's my fault. I'm not very good at picking up after myself. Mom always does it for me at home. Still, I didn't think it was too bad yet. We've only been here a week. I hate having things be out of place. It makes me feel nervous, like it needs to go into my suitcase. <laughs> I don't know if I can make things perfect all the time. We all have to live together for a year without driving each other crazy. How can we work this out? Hmm. Everyone maintains their own space. Ellen should teach Virginia. Virginia should pay Ellen. <laughs> no, because that was... She, does, she doesn't even want it. Uh, Let's be fair about this. You think? I suppose. Because I don't think Ellen wants to teach Virginia, and I don't think Virginia... I don't think she wants to learn either. Yeah, so we'll go with this, and then if it doesn't work and she still cleans up after Virginia... Something else. I, I don't really think it'll make everyone kill each other. Yeah. And then it's like flashback to the next ten Free episodes, mate. everyone's dead. <laughs> um It's like the we just, everything. Yeah, it's like we just opened the room and they were all dead. <laughs> except for except for the uh, blonde hair chick. She was cleaning everything. Yeah. So much blood <laughs> She's like I was like, Why are their boots missing? No reason. <laughs> Where are their fingers? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they were gone when I got in here. <laughs> <laughs> totally had nothing to do with it. <laughs> This room belongs to all three of us. We should each be able to ah, we should each be able to be comfortable as much as possible. I look at Ellen. You should be able to keep your bed and desk perfectly neat. None of it should touch. None of us should touch it, so nothing's out of place. But Virginia should be able to keep ah, should be able to be a slob in her own bed as long as she keeps her stuff out of your way and doesn't stink up the room. Ha! I suppose. It's like Virginia liked that plan, but she's like, I don't know. 
It's not a perfect compromise, but it's hard to reach a perfect agreement between three different people. I'm awakened early on Saturday morning by a tap at the door, followed by a faint hissing sound. What's going on? I'm guessing since we don't pick classes for Saturday, Saturday's a day that stuff randomly happens, depending on what happened during the week, maybe? Mm. Or maybe this set things happen every Saturday? We'll see. I stumble out of bed to find three envelopes have been pushed under the door to our room, each marked with one of our names. Maybe I'd like sleep under the tables. <laughs> I don't no, know, no, it's you, just... You, I, you sleep underneath the blonde hair's, uh, haired girl's bed because uh, she's a thief, she just stole you. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, money's here! Oh shit, we get paid. I like get it. Paid to go to school? No, only five bucks. Still. Each envelope contains five dollars, the weekly spending allowance for Irish Academy students. Too bad lunch is twenty. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll buy you lunch if you owe me a favor. <laughs> if it's our money, why can't they just give it to us all at once? I'm gonna watch my money around Ellen from now on. <laughs> I guess they don't trust us to s not to spend it all at once and then run out and complain. Oh. You look well, all disapproving. That might teach people to plan ahead. Uh, this way still teaches people to plan ahead. If you want to buy anything really cool, you gotta save up. But you're missing the important part. It's Saturday, and that means a trip to the mall. Oh shit, we got a mall? I guess we leave the school to do something fun. I didn't think you were a shopaholic. I'm not! But it's great to get out and look at something other than school for a while, isn't it? Also, they have ice cream and penny candy and, and really women. big cinnamon cookies <laughs> and... And we get the idea. Oh, you're all like, I know, you're after... <laughs> Penis. No. <laughs> no, she already has one. <laughs> I know. I, I don't know where we're going with this. I'm confused, It's, it's too. secretly a dude dressed up as a woman to infiltrate. Yes. For whatever reason. Yes. It's a pervert. <laughs> Since I've been there before, I could show you guys around. What about studying? You yeah, have plenty of time for that during the week, right, Rain? I don't know. We didn't study at all this week, man. Yeah, you, know, you gotta take all these other classes. Fuck it. Let's go to the mall. Ah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> sure. I'd love to go to the mall with you. Great. Alan? Maybe you should do, like, alternating so it gets some studying in. Yeah, probably. I'm not going to do it all the time. i got to study some. But I want to see what the hell kind of mall we go to, if it's just a normal mall or if it's on campus or something stupid. True. It's probably something stupid. We'll find out. I guess it's okay, but you ought to have a good breakfast before you look at ice cream. Besides, Tim, maybe we'll meet some girls. I mean, boys. I mean... <laughs> I don't, I don't even know, know anymore. anymore. <laughs> All I know is I'm looking kind of hot. Yes, mother. <laughs> Stud <laughs> Students are lining up outside the school, waiting for a free seat in one of the shuttle vans that travel between here and the local shopping center. I like oh. a lot here. Yeah. I wonder if they give you food. Uh, maybe. Come on, we can ride together. Wait a minute. What is it? We're still in uniform. So? Won't people stare at us because we're all wearing capes? <laughs> nah. But I don't play Dungeons and Dragons. Just act natural. It's no big deal. They'll just think we're a bunch of LARPers. But I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's nowhere near Halloween. Since the teachers aren't saying anything, I suppose this is what we're supposed to do. The mall is not very large or very crowded, at least where I'm standing, which is in Wizards easily outnumber shoppers in ordinary clothes, but no one reacts to the site. So this is our mall. We got turf here, Tim. Gang war. Yep. I guess if students come here all the time, they get used to it. Okay, that place does coffee and pastries. They have fresh fruit. That one does baked potatoes. There's a gift shop. There's the cafe. Are all these stores magical? Nah, there's only one magic shop here. They sell wands and stuff. <laughs> it's like, why would we go here for magic? <laughs> it's a freaking yeah. mall. <laughs> I'm going to get a chocolate croissant. What about you? I say we save the money. Window shopping, food court, magic store, games arcade. Window shop? 
It's window magic, shop. Magic store or window shop? Mm. So I guess window shop. Flip a coin, Tim. Flip window and, shop. All right. <laughs> I wander in and out of various stores. It's not a very big mall, but there are books, clothes, music, and toys, so I keep myself entertained for a few hours. Stress decreases by three. Ah, this is one way to decrease stress. I'm guessing sleep does it too. Possibly the gym. Possibly. Depending on if we're doing stuff at the gym or just having fun. I don't know. On Sunday morning, I sleep in. There aren't any school activities today that I know of, and I haven't made plans with anyone, so there's nothing else to do. Which just makes me realize I miss my family. Time to study. <laughs> It's like, time to go home. <laughs> Game <laughs> over. <laughs> I got my ten bucks, I'm out of here. <laughs> yep. I'm not used to being completely out of contact like this. There aren't even any phones in the dorm, so I can't call home. Dad promised he and Mom would write, but I haven't received anything. Maybe they were too busy on the first day or the mail was slow. I'm sure I'll hear from them soon. No phones, no computers, no television. It doesn't matter much during the week when I'm busy with classes, but on a day like today, it leaves me feeling restless. Obviously, somebody didn't read the Dresden Files. <laughs> it's like, the reason why ma magicians don't go around technology is because magic screws with it. It's like it blows up and stuff. Uh, I thought it was because they were trying to isolate them. Maybe. Somewhat. But then they let them go to a mall, so I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah you're right. They're, they're, it's like a games arcade, so there'd be technology there. Maybe they are. They're like, come to the school. Don't talk to anyone about it. <laughs> Pretty much they read our mail too I don't think you get mail I think I'll go outside yeah they just the take traps? it all they give us all our mail when we go home <laughs> and it's like we get a box full of moldy cookies and stuff like if there's any cookies left like by the way mom makes crap cookies <laughs> <laughs> by the way I ate your cookies <laughs> and this sweater doesn't fit me for crap <laughs> um, <laughs> you can have it <laughs> It's a beautiful campus. I'm careful to stop when I want to admire something rather than keep walking and risk another collision. But while the flowers and paved walkways are nice, what I'm really looking for is something a little more open. I follow the paths away from the main buildings towards grassy fields. We could play games out here if we borrowed some balls from the gym. I wonder if Virginia was serious about starting a sports team. Hey, I think I see her up ahead. She's talking to someone I don't know. I hurry to catch up. Hmm. Who should do her? Uh, you can. I, I don't know what to do with a I don't know. fairy. That was a girl, but I don't know. I guess we don't have to do anything. We just need a voice. Ah, whatever. Girls mostly again this year, isn't it? Yeah, both my roommates are. I pause in mid-step. What's she talking about? Me and Ellen? That could be a problem eventually. Ellen and I both had, quote, wild magic. Is that the problem? Well, maybe more of us should drop out. The other way would be more fun. Maybe for you it would. The wind girl Death. laughs. What on earth are they talking about? She's an evil fairy. <laughs> this is silly. Spies never hear anything nice. I have no idea what they're discussing, and I shouldn't try to figure it out. I'll only come up with crazy stuff. I'm just going to walk away. 